Oh, all packed up. Farewell, Arkansas. So as the video and the title implies, moving from Arkansas. I don't know if y'all can see all that back there. See a better view. Got the U-Haul, my man Q. Y'all have seen him in a few episodes. And the car. We have the car loaded up. We have the U-Haul loaded up. And we have the front loaded up. We have a 15-hour drive ahead of us. I've never driven anything this big, so I don't think I'm going to do any driving. So I'm going to have to stay and keep my man company. But gosh, 15 hours. And this heavy U-Haul It's probably more like 17. But we're going to make it happen. This is ridiculous. We're already in creeping traffic. Yeah, yeah, I haven't reached our halfway point, not even our one third point. So I'm passing, like I'm passing Nashville. I'm three hours away from Memphis. A I've been driving for three hours now. We got through the slow traffic. It held us up for about an hour. Uh, we have about an hour and a half left before we reach Nashville. Well, for that traffic, we'll be getting there in 30 minutes. So now, we're riding listening to the Warriors game because we can't watch it. It's like we're back in the 1950s listening to a game on the radio. Got to imagine everything. And I really need to stop wearing this vibe. So look how it's cutting into my forehead. I can feel it. It's not even tight. It's just how the little ripples are in there. It cut into my forehead, but oh well, I love my vibe. We got 10 hours Come on, cute. Pass it back. You got feel in your chest. Yep. I don't know if y'all can see that. There we go. The first few drops have hit the window. That's crazy. It was so bright and sunny outside. So bright and sunny. And all of a sudden, we ride into this. And when it looks at the sky, it's going to be a downpour soon. So I wonder how that's going to work with this truck loaded with all this weight with the trailer with a car loaded with weight behind us. Just like that. Just like that. We're in a storm. This is crazy. Talk about a drastic weather change, but we're about 48, 49 miles outside of Nashville, so we'll stop and take a break there, and hopefully it passes right over. We made it to our final destination of the day. We're a little under halfway there. We stopped in Lexington, Kentucky instead of Louisville like we originally planned because we're going to make a special trip to a special spot tomorrow. I'm going to be more on that later. But right now, we're about to hop in this bed. We've been in the car all day. We're super wore out. We got us a little room. There we go. Good enough for what we need, which is sleep. So on that note, I will see you guys later. Thanks. Day two, time to hit the road. Oh yeah, morning refuel spot. Oh, right now we are currently in Lexington, Kentucky. Um, on a side note, everything from Memphis to here on the radio station sucks. All they play is country music, and I do not like country music. So, all the way till we got here, I couldn't find a hip hop station, but they had like 50 country stations, and it was terrible. So we had to play music through our little portable speaker, and it wasn't really that loud, but we made do. Hopefully it's not like that moving forward. Time for some go-go juice. Got my coffee. Vanilla latte. I have never been a coffee guy in my life. 
But I found two cups that I can drink. So I can drink so the. Yeah. So I met him. I uh, can drink the white chocolate mocha. I had raspberry. That's when I want something really sweet. And now I can do vanilla latte. Ooh, that's hot. West Virginia now, uh, making a detour. We're gonna surprise his lady who doesn't know that we're coming. So, we're gonna ride by her parents' house, surprise her, and have a little breakfast for her. West Virginia fact 75% of West Virginia is covered in forest. It's crazy, huh? Another West Virginia fact the first ever women's federal prison was opened here in West Virginia. And this is also the first place to uh, have sales tax. The first place in the United States. Anyway, one of the most interesting things about West Virginia is the school marshal. I'm pretty sure you heard about the, uh, the story about the school where the, uh, they were going to a football game and playing crash and killed almost all the team. But because of Marshall, now every school can play freshman and sophomore. Because before that accident, you could only play juniors and seniors in football. But seeing as their juniors and seniors died in a plane crash, the only way for the team to be eligible the next year was for them to allow freshman and sophomore to play. I guess you can thank the tragedy of Marshall, all the true freshmen and true sophomore that play today. One more West Virginia fact. West Virginia is considered the southernmost northern state in the country and the northernmost southern state in the country. It sits right in the middle, I guess. It's pretty cool. <laughs> passing around Parkersburg and that's actually where I was born. Now it's a little bit out of the way so we're not going to go through there. But I just thought it was pretty cool. I left there when I was three and now that I'm helping my buddy move I'm passing right by my birth town. I heard it's not much there anyway. Small, a weird town but it is what it is. But I thought that was pretty cool. We are currently in Morgantown, West Virginia which is the home of the West Virginia Mountaineers. We stopped for a quick bathroom break. And everywhere I go up here, I'm seeing this uh, gas station deli called Sheets. I guess it's a pretty big deal up here. Um, it's in a lot of the service stations. Supposed to be one of the best sandwiches ever. So if you know of Sheets or you've had Sheets, comment below and let me know if it's good or not. There's a glimpse of the football stadium. I can't really get a good shot because we're dragging the U-Haul. That's the stadium. It's way bigger than the one I played in. Uh, Q just showed me his first dorm that he lived in, which looked like a pretty average dorm. Uh, it's downtown here in West Virginia, which is pretty cool, which means that the students can just walk anywhere for food and clubs, blah, 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 blah. But that's not the crazy part. The crazy part is directly under his floor, is a liquor store. So that means they're basically encouraging underage drinking at the University of West Virginia because there's a liquor store under the freshman dorms. Finally, after two days of driving, we see the Philly sign. No, he looked happy. Not really. He did all the driving. I ain't do none of the driving. So we here. Precisely why I did not want to drive. We were trying to get that. Yeah, you're past the car. Into there. And we're struggling just to move it just a little bit. Come on back. A little bit more. I'm about to say we in there. All we got to do is like try to straighten out the front. It's exactly why I didn't want to drive. I had no idea how to instruct him on how to turn that trailer. It was terrible. But we're in Philly. We're in Philly. Hopefully we get to go watch this Sixers game. We can see how routed these Philadelphia fans can really get in person. But I'm just glad to be out of the truck. Thank God. So we are finally here in Philly. <laughs> we hurry up and dropped our stuff. And now we're headed out to get some food. Uh, we're walking to a bar to catch the game and just relax. So far, my impression of Philly is everything's too tight. 
I'm a country guy. Where I'm from, you have space. Here, everything is like right on top of each other. And where I stay, the stairs are like that wide. Stairs are like that wide, man. Like I feel like I gotta be a ballerina to get up and down the stairs. And then, Q, upstairs, the window wide open, talking about change clothes. He want me to put on a free strip show. So, I don't know, we're going to get some food now and watch the game. So we'll see how it goes from here. But so far it's all right. I mean, it's a total change from what I'm used to. So let's see what Philly got to offer. Let's go find some food.